Following the political crisis rocking on those state over the continued feud between Governor Oluwaro Timiakred Olu and his deputy, Loki Aye Datiwa, the leader of Afeni Ferry, Pa Ruben Fasonoti, and some elders in Ondo State have appealed to President Bola Tinumbu to urgently intervene in the situation. Pa Fasonoti, who led other elder statesmen under the ages of Ondo State elders and leaders, disclosed that the political crisis, particularly the absence of the governor, has been affecting governance in the state. A communique signed by the Afeniferi leader and the group's secretary, Bakita Belo, after an emergency meeting in Akure, the state capital asserted that some people have hijacked the governance of the state. The elders also maintained that if the development is not quickly addressed, it will, not, it will no doubt affect the preparation of the 2024 budget. While decrying the absence of the state in crucial national events due to the crisis, the elder statesmen said there is no clear direction within the state's civil service. Joining us to look at the ongoing feud between Governor Luaro Timiakredolu and his deputy is a human rights lawyer and political analyst, Alan Shure Esquire. Uh, Alan, good to have you on Plus Politics. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Would you want to give us a summary of what is happening in on those uh, gubernatorial suite? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, the, the summary is that since uh, April 3rd, 2023, uh, the government has been away because of uh, ailment that is uh, protracted. And nobody wishing that, but as human, sometimes we are indisposed. And uh, as a result of his uh, status, his so, I, I think uh, I, I think I, I, hello you probably will call a kitchen member I call the members of the cabal. They have uh, taken over the states. They have adjusted. We go on can, you you. can you hear me? Uh, we, we can hear you, but sometimes you fade off, and, and you know, and you, you go ahead. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Let's let's try for a while. Oh, okay. I was saying that the uh, members, uh, as uh, they have hijacked the situation, we don't know the whereabouts of uh, Mr. Governor, and they are exploiting the state. They are using this period to take our resources, the state resources, on control, and they have denied. Uh, the process of transmission of uh, power from the governor to the deputy governor in these circumstances. And everything in Ondo State stands still from local government administration to the state judiciary and the executive, you can know. Uh, the governor is not available, his deputy is fighting hard to save himself from impeachment. The Speaker of the House of Assembly is nowhere to be found. So, you know, those days, the situation is, uh, is uh, paralysis. There is complete paralysis of uh, governance in those states. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, that, that is why we have to appreciate our time leaders who have come together at this crucial time in uh, national life to intervene or in our state life. To intervene, uh, yeah, Mr. President, 
should please come to our rescue. As president of MBA, whilst President Umar Yadua was sick, I remember the then uh, the then senior advocate of Nigeria, Akere Dolu, advising Yadua to speedily get well from where from where he was taken to for treatment. I come back home and come and resign because, uh, according to Akro Delu, then uh, it was not supposed to be. He was not supposed to use his sickness, unfortunately, as it was, to be holding Nigeria into down to a state of paralysis. Is, isn't it ironic that now the same Akro Delu is sick? And for months on end now, he's left his state in a, not only in a state of paralysis, but he, he could easily, with a, with, with a kind of either polite or, uh, you know, eating remonstrance, have, have stopped the, the members of the State House of Assembly who are now going gongo, literally chasing kind of... Um, Hounding the deputy governor with uh, this imp impeachment saga, w what would be your response to all this? My response is that uh, as much uh, as uh, we can blame the governor, we must as well clearly understand the situation. Perhaps he's no longer in a position to take charge of himself. So, more, I want to blame the MBA because. Agre Dolu then was using the MBA, that is the apex uh, body of uh, the Nigeria Bar, that is the uh, apex body that comprises uh, all the lawyers in Nigeria, as the chairman then. So the question is, what is the position of the present chairman of the Nigeria Bar Association? What is he saying? Why are they not speaking? Well, where are the lawyers? Uh, but, 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 uh, but a couple of, about two or three weeks ago, we saw pictures of, uh, we saw pictures of the governors of Southwest states uh, uh, of not being with him in his house, reportedly in his house in Ibano. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't looking like somebody who was in comatose. He knew he was sick. He knew he couldn't give the best to the state. Uh, and one would have thought that just like he counseled uh, Umar, Umar Musaya Adua to do uh, for the love of the for the love of the state, you know, he, he could have also uh, hid his own counsel. Yes, we saw the pictures, uh, but, but from report we have his uh, situation has changed ever since the governor left. So that's why I'm saying that uh, we may have to start to blame the people around him because for now, nobody knows where the governor is. He's not within the state. We are not sure if he's in Ibadan. And the Speaker of the State House of Assembly that should have done the need a desire to look the other way around. So uh, the situation is uh, very, very dicey to intervene because we don't know the current status of the governor. And after this time, continue to blame him. We have to be blaming those who are taking his hostage, those who are collecting ransom, they are collecting ransom from Mundo State. So those who are responsible for his whereabouts, it is time we should uh, beam a searchlight on them to ask where is he gone. Uh, and in the absence, in the absence of uh, the uh, legislature, that is the State House of Assembly, uh, uh, triggering, triggering the constitutional provision that ought to have been triggered in circumstances like this, and also in given the fact that the state as of our assembly is now is now the 
the you know the stormy petrol fostering uh, the dysfunctionalism of governance by chasing who the constitutional ordinarily recognizes as the person who should be deputizing for the governor in his absence. They are chasing him around now with, uh, with uh, uh, a threat of impeachment. So what can be done now? You are a lawyer. What, what, what can somebody like you, who is, a, who is a, uh, a, a, an indigene of the state or a resident of the state, what, what can somebody do? in the absence of the failure of institutions and, uh, and public officers? Yeah. As of yesterday, I am one of the lawyer representing some uh, public-spirited individuals and civil society who has taken up this matter on themselves by filing uh, a process at the State High Court in Akure and requesting the State High Court to interpret this various session that, that like you have mentioned, this a vis Session 189 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. We stipulate that um, in this situation, a panel should be set up to examine the health status of the governor to see whether he can continue in office, uh, which is uh, the responsibility of the speaker. Uh, the process is equally exploiting the provisions of Section 190 sub 2, uh, which uh, stipulated that uh, the House of Assembly, after 21 days of uh, uh, the governor traveling or being unavailable or unable to perform his uh, duty, should, through a resolution, simple majority resolution, pass go transmit power to his deputy. So the process is there. It was filed yesterday, and I'm very sure, I have uh, confidence in the Nigerian judiciary, that by the time they exploit the prayer in that court process, we will come out from this uh, logjam. I'm thinking the Hondo State elders and leaders uh, plea to the President of the Republic. I'm thinking, is that plea not, not somewhat superfluous? Uh, and why am I saying that? The, the, the governor is nowhere to be found. Nobody knows his whereabouts. Uh, reportedly, as you just told us, I, 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 thought, I thought before commencing this program that uh, they, they rationalized that he was more emotionally and circumstantially comfortable in Ibadan. And that he's in Nigeria, but, but in Ibadan. And we saw pictures of uh, his uh, colleague governors from the Southwest. But in the, in, in the face of what you have just intimated us with now, that his whereabouts you know, is not known, uh, what are they? pleading to the president to do, to intervene by calling the members of the State House of Assembly who are the ones uh, frustrating the deputy governor from performing his constitutional duties in the absence of his principal, or what? Uh, because they really have to be specific about the, the case here is a bit messy, and it's getting messier by the day. Mm. Thank you very much. The, the president is the leader of a nation. Uh, uh, you must equally uh, know the fact that uh, he is of the same party with Akire Dolu. So the president is the chief, is commander in chief of, of the armed forces. As, as much as uh, we are saying that uh, uh, we don't know his whereabouts, security reports on the death of the Mr. President will definitely show we are. Governor Akredo Luis, and the president will, of course, know his status. If you remember during Yadua, it, it was uh, Obasanjo who went to Yadua's Monda and advised her that uh, he should tell his son to, to resign. So, Mr. President is the leader of the country, is the leader of uh, APC, so he, he could exploit 
political uh, solution by calling member of uh, uh, the, the state assembly who are equally majority of them are member of APC and they tell them to, to, to go and uh, stop the shenanigans. He can as well appeal to the, the speaker personally uh, uh, as his uh, son to go and carry out his uh, sacred duty. Without, so it is not without, uh, uh, out of place. Without wanting to again say without wanting to contradict the logic in your submission, uh, we must also let our viewers know that the, uh, our Progressive Congress uh, have, at some point, the leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, uh, sent in a chieftain of the party, former governor of Kassina State uh, and former speaker of the House of Representatives, Masari, to intervene in the imbroglio between the House of Assembly and the, and the Deputy Governor. And, uh, you know, for a while we thought that was going to be, that was going to be just settle the dust, but it does seem that uh, the members of the House of Assembly are somewhat resolute in their determination to make the state ungovernable. Uh, I, I don't know how you want to respond to that. Yes. But yes, that is why the, the calling of the president is very, very uh, relevant. When the members of uh, the ESCO, National Executive of APC, uh, put in place a committee, was there no report submitted to the president who is the leader of the party? If there is a report, the calling of the president now would be to act on that report. Then number two, which is uh, equally important, the National Assembly, by virtue of session 11 of the Constitution, can take over the function of the State House of Assembly this period uh, and perform that duty. Uh, uh, as a lawyer, as a lawyer, you, as a lawyer, you know that uh, the technicalities involved in activating that provision uh, is is uh, uh, is still somewhat um, organically nebulous. It is not easy. For, for the House of Representatives of the National Assembly to just, uh, to just take over. Uh, because uh, ordinarily, the, the State of House of Assembly will be claiming that they are not in crisis and they are still functional. I, I, I wonder if my thinking uh, is, is, is a bit too distant from yours. I would you want to respond to that. Yes, the, the, the Constitution provision does not mention... Uh, crisis. What the Constitution mentioned is that uh, whenever the State House of Assembly failed or unable or, or refused to carry out their duties, the National Assembly can please take over. That's, that is what the Constitution is saying. Uh, for the but, uh, peace and the uh, and, uh, progress of, of the nation and of such state is not necessarily when the country is in crisis. And if, if you want to define crisis, even in our situation in Ondo State, we already have uh, a full crisis. At the local government level, like I told you earlier, that has collapsed. Barrister uh, Allen, Barrister Allen, Shore, Esquire, uh, we want to thank you for your, uh, for your contribution and uh, your... Um, your enlightenment. We wish all of you in Ondo State all the best. We pray that this uh, this uh, Roforofo fight. I was going to use the word Ferrari, but Roforofo kept coming on my tongue. I would get uh, resolved early enough for the good governance of the people of Ondo State. You can have millions of people just being at the mercy of. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.